Hey everyone, Lauren Simons here, and I want to take you through the three in-camera correction functions that the EOS C700 has to offer. Because we build not only some of the most popular cameras, but also some amazing glass used throughout the entire industry, Canon has a very unique position. We have a huge wealth of information about how our lenses and sensors work, and we can combine that information to optimize our image. So let's head into the menus and look at our three features here. Jumping into our main menu, and then camera setup, at the bottom here, we see our three correction features. The first is flash band correction. Now, this feature is only available and only necessary on the standard CMOS version of the sensor. Because of the nature of rolling shutter, when a flash from a camera or say a lighting strike goes off, it often results in a half exposed frame, with one section of the frame being exposed by the flash and the other not. With some clever math, we're able to eliminate this artifact and fill the entire frame with one solid exposure. The trade-off is, to use this, we must be shooting at 5994, either progressive or interlaced, as well as having the shutter set to off. So, while this isn't an ideal solution for traditional 2398 narrative work, it's a solid workaround, and broadcast style of productions shooting at 5994 will especially love this feature. Next, we have peripheral illumination correction, and this one goes back to the idea of vertical integration. We make the lenses, we make the sensors, and we know how they're going to interact so we can really optimize that lens to sensor relationship. All lenses are brightest in their center and have a gradual fall off towards the corners, some worse than others. This vignetting can be counteracted by adding a subtle amount of gain to the further ends of the image and producing a perfectly even exposure across the frame. Now, peripheral illumination only works with select Canon manufactured lenses, but if you engage it with one lens, it will remain on for all lenses that it's compatible with until you turn it off again in the menus. However, watch closely for any artifacts while shooting in low light, because it's adding gain to compensate for the physical light fall off, it could add noise to the extreme corners of your image. The last is chromatic aberration correction. Again, this is a sensor to lens relationship optimization. Chromatic aberration happens on all lenses to a degree, and you may just know of it as that green or magenta fringing around high contrast points. But this correction is actually taking place at the sensor level, even before the encoding. So it's best accomplished in camera. The EOS C700, in combination with Canon's huge lens lineup, allows for a harmonious relationship resulting in optimal image performance. Remember, if you have any questions, be sure to call us at 1855 Cine EOS.